anything is an excuse to make a painting. Painting really is about observing observation. It almost doesn't matter what the image is. I'm not really hung up on uh, you know, whether there's a figure in the painting or there's not. And uh, it depends on what you feel like painting or what presents itself at that moment. And opportunities present themselves as uh, possibilities for painting. So um, there's different stories that seem to happen from painting to painting. I don't have to paint on something necessarily to make it my own. There was a painting I made called Cortez, and um, it was raining in my studio, and the skylight had a hole in it, so it made this extraordinary stain on this old piece of material, and I didn't want the stain to go away, so I took the mar varnish and linseed oil and painted the stain in. And then I glued a piece of baldacchino from the 17th century in the middle of it, which had this fringe at the bottom, and it made it seem like it was a shadow of this thing that was floating through the space of that. And I thought the painting was done. Uh, or I made another painting in 1985 called Virtue, where there was just a, a, a green army tarp, and I found a banner that said Virtue on it, and put that in the middle, and I thought, if I put more paint on it or another mark on it, does it make it more mine? Or I didn't think so. So it's about what you select to present. I mean, I think we make decisions when we're younger. Uh, we have different needs, and as you work, you realize you don't need certain things. There are other things that you do need. I mean, for example, I made a painting years ago that had a nurse's hat made out of plaster and uh, canvas on it and these two older artists said I should cut it out because it seemed like it was extra to the painting. So I did and I ruined the painting. Uh, and basically I wrote something about it and I said basically uh, older artists are going to try to get you to take out of your paintings what characterize them as yours. And uh, what they don't get is that you're out to uh, destroy the standard that they had kind of embodied, so uh, they can't really help you. You have to kind of do that on your own. And uh, uh, it's always hard to see what you're doing when you're doing it, and it's also hard for people that are not even painting to look at what you're doing when you're doing it, because it's around them. I mean, I was talking to John Richardson the other day. He knew Picasso quite well, and he was looking at these late pictures. He couldn't see them yet. I mean, they were around them, and a lot of people thought that they were the meanderings of a Gaga old guy, but I mean, a lot of those really late paintings are really, really great, and, uh, and there was something new that people just didn't understand. And even to this late date, when there was a show that was at the uh, uh, Grand Palais in Paris, uh, I think Michael Brenson wrote some things about those paintings, which ob was obvious to me. He didn't understand them still. So, um, you know, it's uh, elusive, and it takes time, and it can drive people crazy. You know, what I do to kind of survive or get through the day or exist in this world is make paintings. I mean, I made some movies, <coughs> but they're really just uh, kind of an extension of my paintings. And uh, there's part of my brain that's a storyteller, and I guess that's why I did that. But what interests me, or what I like about making movies is, I mean, I like working with Javier Bardem. I like working with Matthew Elmer and with people that can do something that I can't do. And together we made those things. I mean, at a certain moment I'll feel like making a film and I'll enjoy doing it or whatever, but like I said, I mean, I don't really think about the future. Uh, I wrote something that will get turned into something in a way, but right now, the thinking about it, it just sounds like work. And uh, it's about being in the present every day. I mean, I'm a painter. I, you know, if I'd never made another movie, it wouldn't matter. There's a lot of young artists whose work seems to speak to something that I did, you know, 25 years ago, or I continue to do. And, uh, and that's nice. It's sort of, um, 
but you kind of, when you're younger, you expect more or you care more about the agreement of other people. As you get older, you don't. And it's more a matter of fact, everything. But just to, having the freedom to paint is really the thing. Just having the opportunity to be able to have access to that space that you can open up for yourself as art is a big privilege. So it doesn't really matter what other people think. It matters how you feel when you're doing what you're doing. And if you have the freedom to actually do that, you have to say thank you. Oh, <laughs>